This is Andre from Brown's Professional Carpet Care. Today is February the 9th, 2018. And today's video is um, pretty much going to be about why my company charges what we charge and why we have high prices. Now, and I, uh, I was on the phone a little while ago with my buddy uh, Courtney from uh, Truman Steamers down there in uh, Georgia. We have been a low ball carpet cleaner years ago. Like I said, my dad started out business back in uh, 1983. I've been doing it since I was 12 years old. I'm 32 now. So I have uh, over 20 years of experience with this. And uh, we've been there three rooms, $99, four rooms, $79. Back in the 80s, my dad even had a, a deal. It was uh, middle 80s to late 80s. $5 a room, guys, back in the 80s, man. My dad was killing it, they said. But my dad has done so many things with uh, different... Um, yellow pages and all kinds of advertising things but we was a very low ball carpet cleaner guys you know we 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 we, we did great work we always did great awesome work we always did awesome work but what our prices were were very low and over the last over the years i'm just like dad man we do a lot of work for this little bit of money man we got to do eight jobs to make six five six hundred dollars like that that doesn't make sense to me at all you know so then once we learn and like today, learn what you're doing. Learn what this industry is about. And I learned the quality of my work and our customers understand the quality of our work. And that's the reason we charge what we charge. And also, you got to take into fact, like I always say, it depends on your market area. If my prices were in North Carolina, even in Georgia, uh, maybe Kansas or something like that, Colorado, I would not be in business today with these prices because the cost of living is a lot is a lot lower than where what it is in my area so to charge certain prices you have to know your market area that is very important if I live somewhere else I cannot charge what I charge today and then you got to know also if you want to charge cheap prices you have a cheap set of customers that you can attract if you want to charge high higher prices you have a, a higher or high-end type of customer you can attract you know quality shoppers and price shoppers they're two total different entities inside of our in industry as far as customers so my prices are high because of the quality of my work and also because of my market area. We do still have guys who charge very, very low in this area, but the work that we do, I'm not going to charge those prices at all. You know, if you want to do three rooms for 99, five rooms for 99, six rooms for 99, go ahead. You will have somebody that will pay those prices. If you want to charge higher, you will have people to pay that, but you cannot charge people high amounts of money if the quality of your work is cheap and basic you cannot charge people high amounts of money if the quality of your work does not match that you know if i charge what i charge today and i clean like a low-end cleaner they will never call my company again and they probably won't would not even want to pay me you know we do things from doors our brochures that we leave with them um corner guards furniture protectors the way that we're so personable with the with the client you know it's not just not about cleaning carpet we want to make sure your home is healthy at, tell you little tricks and we recommend vacuuming and certain things to keep your home healthier your air ducts let's talk about things to make sure that my customers and clients are knowledgeable about about my services that i do offer so that's the reason that I can charge what I charge, you know, and you're not, and everybody's not going to pay your price. You need to know that if you're going to raise your prices that matches the quality of your work, you will lose some customers. But don't forget, when you lose that customer, somebody always calling will pay that price. Remember, there are two different types of customers, guys. Some customers are more driven with quality. Let me see if they have an awesome website. Let me check out their reviews. Let me call them and see what kind of cleaning methods they do. You know, how long they've been in business. You know, are you on the operator? Those are the kind of things and questions that I like from customers. You know, somebody call, how much you charge? Oh, that is too high. You think dude, this person said they charge? Have a nice day, ma'am. You know, my our, our, our prices are set, and that's what we charge because of the quality of our work. Thank you. Always stand your ground, guys. Always stand your ground with your prices. But like I said, you have to charge accordingly to your market area. So this is just a short video, guys, about why I charge so high in carpet cleaning, air ducts, upholstery. I know. 
the procedures what we do you know we're certified and we understand our industry and this is a high-end service you know it, it the last thing on somebody's mind if they don't have money is to get their carpets clean. If they are broke to the T, they're not going to call you for carpet cleaning, guys. They're not at all. They'll have the money if they want to do it, you know, you know. So just, hey, I said you know twice. You heard guys heard that. That was a blooper. So thank you guys for subscribing. Andre from Brown's Professional Carpet Care. You guys have a wonderful day, and thank you for subscribing. Thank you guys for subscribing. Have a wonderful day. And it's so awesome when you look at the camera directly at the lens. And you're looking like you're directly looking in the middle of the screen. But if you look in the middle of the screen, it's like you're looking. It's so crazy, but it's so cool at the same time when I'm directly talking to you. Yes, you. I'm looking right at you. Stay motivated. Stay true. Don't give up. Don't quit. It might be the slow time for some people here right now. You know, it's slow for me too. But it's not slow, slow. You know? I'm getting business. I love you guys. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Keep God first and always give. Never look for the intent to receive, guys, and you'll stay blessed. God bless you. Rest in peace to my father. And you see Brown's coming? The dirt gets to running.